Hi there everybody, uh, welcome to Nigel Tech. I'm Neil and we're going to be taking a look at the EB16 buggy from Acme in this short video. Now I did actually review the Nitro version of this car a couple of weeks back and wasn't aware that we did uh, a battery electric powered version. Uh, but here we are, we've got it in front of me, um, it comes completely ready built, ready to go. The only thing that you need uh, are some batteries for the radio gear. So let's get started. So the box itself is uh, very straightforward, very much like the uh, NB16. It's uh, about the size of an A3 piece of paper on top perhaps, maybe um, 10 centimetres deep and it's about a kilo maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit more so very compact and very lightweight easy to transport so this is going to be a perfect car for somebody who's quite young and perhaps just getting into the hobby so with the lid off the box uh, straight away we've got our car which we can uh, see nicely bolstered in with these uh, foam bumpers so let's put those aside and it's very easy just to lift our car out of the way and then uh, look at that superb straight away I think uh, anybody would be really pleased if uh, they got that as a gift. So let's put it to, to one side. What else uh, do we have? We've got uh, in the bottom uh, the obligatory instruction manual and there's uh, an antenna tube. Uh, we'll touch on that a bit later on. And then we've got this uh, other box which is going to have our radio gear in. So uh, let's unpackage this and uh, check that out too. So with everything uh, unpacked and the packaging uh, to one side, what have we got? Well, of course, we've got our buggy. We've got an, a, a mains charger for the battery inside the car. So uh, that's included also. Uh, we've got the radio, which is a steer wheel radio and the uh, uh, extendable antenna. So that basically just pushes into the hole and then screws into position. So pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got the rear wing for our buggy, so that needs to go on uh, just to finish our model off. So uh, that's pretty straightforward to do. So let's get that on those two posts. Uh, we've got these two little washers that go on, one on either post, and then two body clips. And that uh, is our buggy nicely finished and uh, ready to go. So the next step to uh, getting up and running is to get the batteries charged. Now if you're going to be giving this car as a gift to somebody, perhaps you want to consider doing this step um, first and uh, before you uh, wrap it up and what have you. So we're good to go straight out of the box. Now all you need to do is take the body shell off uh, to get to the batteries. There are two body clips, one at the front and one at the rear, I've already removed those. And the body shell just lifts out of the way and then straight away you get to see the workings of the car now down this side we've got the battery pack um, obviously it's not plugged in it to anything at the moment it's not plugged into the car so all we've got to do is plug our mains charger in plug it into the battery and uh, it takes about three hours to charge from empty so very straightforward and the great thing about the charger is you can't overcharge the battery it will cut off at the right amount when the battery is full uh, if you don't want to have the uh, battery in the car while you're charging it and um, uh, many people don't like to you can very easily remove the battery there are two clips a strap and then the battery just lifts out so if you wanted to charge that away from the car then you can do that too very easily now clearly the emphasis on this car is about having fun and of course uh, all RC should be fun. Um, but having said that there is quite a serious side to this car. It's not uh, necessarily just for beginners. There's a lot going on. Uh, obviously we've already touched on the battery pack and now they give a really good run time. But also with this car you get this uh, nice uh, sleek uh, little mini servo. I don't know whether you can, sort of, you can see the servo. Probably quite tricky to see because it, it's black. Steering servo really uh, protected out of the way underneath uh, this uh, uh, top deck of the chassis. Then we've got uh, uh, an electronic speed controller which is, uh, controls the power to this uh, little brush motor which gives exceptional performance particularly when you couple it with this battery. So really the whole uh, concept of this car is, is about giving the end user the maximum amount of uh, uh, driving pleasure by bringing together some quality components like this onto one chassis. 
Now, talking about the chassis, uh, there's a few things that uh, I don't want to overlook here. Uh, it's very easy with, with a car of this sort of scale and size that you just dismiss it as a toy and that's clearly not the case here. It's a proper full-on uh, RC model and that um, is, uh, you can see, is evident in the, uh, for example, we've got uh, front and rear oil fill shocks with adjustable ride height collars. We've got a number of different mounting positions uh, in the shock towers to be able to adjust the handling of the car. Um, even little details that aren't uh, immediately apparent, like the uh, front tyres being slightly narrower than the rear to really get the uh, balance between grip and steering, front and rear, for the chassis. Little things like that. We've got uh, anti-roll bars, both front and rear. Um, all of the components are adjustable, so we've got adjustable top links for, for camber adjustments. So, although this is very firmly aimed at uh, somebody who's new to RC, it really incorporates and encapsulates all of those components uh, that you can then uh, develop and, uh, and hone uh, some you know, real solid setup knowledge with this little uh, buggy. So it really is quite fantastic and of course all those adjustable features that are on the front are also repeated again on the rear with adjustable uh, shock mounting positions, the roll bar etc. Even down to this um, you know, great little uh, differential. So we've got differentials in the front uh, and in the rear so all of that goes together to make a great handling little buggy. Now, as I've said, it is very easy to look at this car and think of it purely in terms of a toy. When you get driving it, you will realise the difference in performance between a toy and a proper RC model because this thing really moves. Uh, but the other great thing about this is if you do break it, unlike a toy, you can repair it and get back up and running and the parts are inexpensive, uh, they're small and they're cheap to buy. But also one of the uh, things that sets this apart from uh, a lot of other uh, vehicles of this scale is that you can actually buy upgraded parts too. So for example, if you felt that you wanted to replace all of the front suspension with uh, uh, alloy parts to make it that bit tougher or look nice, you can do that. And I've been uh, through the uh, shelves in the uh, uh, Nitec and uh, just pulled out at random uh, a number of parts that are available so you can get uh, alloy versions of the shock absorbers. Uh, you can get um, alloy versions of the wishbones so you know you can get some really nice tasty uh, strong wishbones on your car. Uh, similarly the front hub uprights Again, you don't have to upgrade these, but they are available if you want to go down that route. And moving away from alloy, if you want to get into something that's serious, then we've even got carbon fibre shock towers. So really, there's, you know, there's a whole world beyond just the performance of the car. So moving on to the radio, uh, it's a very intuitive radio to use, this uh, steer wheel. Uh, we've got a battery compartment that takes the AA batteries in the bottom. Uh, and once you've done that, we've got the on off switch just on the back panel here. Uh, around the other side we've got the uh, crystal so it's uh, very easy to change crystals if you need to change frequency you don't have to remove panels and stuff so uh, that one matches the one in the car of course. Uh, we've got the steer wheel uh, which is uh, by far and away the most popular style of radio uh, these days so we've got the steering inputs which are proportional we've got the acceleration and the braking features down here on this trigger and of course we've got some trim uh, control so to make sure that uh, our car is set up so it, it goes in a straight line when you don't put steering inputs in etc. Um, for, for those of you who are interested we also have the option of uh, reversing the servos so for example if you wanted the accelerating effect to be when you push the trigger away you can do that and set that up very easily. So very simple uh, yet effective design with the radio and that essentially is what you get with the EB16. So just as we uh, wrap things up here, there's just a couple of things that I'd uh, like to mention. Uh, the AA batteries that you require for the radio are available directly from us. In fact, they're in a rechargeable form um, right here. Very inexpensive to buy. And also we offer the mains charger for those now. Uh, it's uh, be super convenient just to click through and uh, buy them with your purchase and then everything that you need to get up and running will arrive in one package. And that's it, it's the EB16 from Acme. Get yours at the best prices at nitrotech.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.